so I'm gonna do my finish haul, all the stuff that's beauty related that I got in Vinland. Um, so let's go. First thing I'm gonna do is like one of the cheaper things I got because Finland is very expensive, like Helsinki, very expensive. Um, but I got these earrings and I thought they were pretty reasonable. And I think they're like unusual, so that's why I got them. They're just like cheapy little earrings. Um, and they look like, I'll just show one. They look like so. And they, I love the stone in them. Like it's just like, you know, cheapy stone, but I think it looks like, like the moon or something. It's so pretty. And I really love the swirly detail at the top. Um, yeah, so I love these. These were 8 euros. And I just got this in, in a, like a cute little independent store near Campy, if you ever go, which is a shopping centre. And I love them. They're so cute. The next thing I'll move on to is my lipstick I got, which is I believe is from a brand that's like leading in Finland, like a beauty makeup brand. Um, and it's Lumine. And this one's the natural, the natural code, and this color is in. It's called the Smile Booster lipstick, and it's in two mauve rose. I'm wearing it right now. I don't think I see lipstick that much, but I still like to wear it because I still like a bit of color. And it looks like so. And there's no point doing a swatch because I have it on my lips. So <laughs> that's how it looks on me and I really like the colour although I did think it looked darker when I swatched it on my hand like on the testers there when I bought it it looks more pink but I still like it yeah the lipstick is quite soothing quite soft on the lips doesn't because I have a lot of lipsticks that dry my lips out so I, I just get rid of them but this is quite nice and it's natural cold so I'm guessing it's like, got nothing to be too damaging on you um yeah so I like it because my lips are always dry the next thing is jewellery. Um, I will just explain a little bit about where I got the jewellery from. It's from a place called, I can't really say, I mean a designer, um, I can't really pronounce it probably right, but it's like Kalevala. I'll just show you the brochure, like what it said, that little blue box down the bottom. Um, that is what kind of jewellery it is. And yeah, I picked up a brochure because it's so good. Um, it's quite expensive, but it's like quite a posh, well-known designer because they're really famous for how well their design work is on like kitchen utensils and everything like basically jewellery as well so me and my friend visited there because she'd already been looking at like earrings and stuff she wanted we went there and the first thing I got is this is my bear and Finland's national animal is the brown bear I think I think it's a brown bear but it's a bear and this is the little bear I got which I think is so cute um, yeah. And he was 32 euros. I can't believe I just called him he. <laughs> but yeah, he was 32 euros. And I think there's a little story behind him, just how he is came about and stuff. And he was the strongest character bears were in Finland. And I absolutely love him. And I wanted something that represented Finland, you know, something that lasts long. And that when I, I look down at it, or when I'm wearing it, I think I went to Finland and had this great experience. So, yeah, you get like a little booklet explaining like where the design came from and stuff. I forgot to say that the lipstick I bought was seven, it was seven euros. I'm the next thing is another jewelry piece I bought. And I'm really like hesitant to buy like lots of stuff because I'm so used to, you know, I'm a student. Why would I be buying lots and, and stuff? So my friend often we were out, she was like, just buy stuff, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and you've been given money and you just don't need to worry, just spend. And I was like, okay. So I listened up a bit. So um, after thinking about it, I got these earrings from the same Calavala, I think it is Calavala jewellery. Um, and these are little elks, which remind me of Finland too, because they have deers and things. Um, I love these two. They were more expensive, I think. I think they were 51 euros, but it is the big, cool designer. The design is, I can't even pronounce that, I'm sorry. But um, it comes from the markings that they found in caves of elks, you know, from like caveman times, and the person who designed them, designed them like based around the cave markings, which I thought was a beautiful idea. And I just wanted things that were gorgeous and 
lasted a while and reminded me of Finland so I really really like that and I love the story that's behind it. Here's oh, the charm that I got to add to my bracelet because I don't have many charms on this bracelet but sorry my dogs just started barking and that always makes me like what's going on. <laughs> sorry this bracelet has a new charm in it and I don't have many charms on it. My mum got me it for my 16th birthday I think and she got me this purple charm have to lean into the camera. This purple little dazzly one. Um, and then I added one because when my grandpa died I needed something to remind me of him and that's like little binoculars. So then when I went to Finland I wanted to add something because as I said remind me of the experience. Something that I, my first ever independent kind of experience and journey so I had to get something. So I got something a bit Finnish which is a little fish. So if I just lean up towards the camera and show you um, that is a cute little fish and he actually wiggles like he's got a bit in the middle um, that wiggles, he's so cute and I thought it reminded me of Finland because they like to do a lot of ice fishing there and I thought I, like, I remember seeing like a dad with his little boy doing it and I was just like that's so cute as long as they don't fall on, that's cute <laughs> so I thought that was such a cute little charm and that was by Thomas Sebo I think is how you say it um, like that, that's what the brand is and I'm pretty sure you can get that in this country but you know it was just the fact that I bought it there and it will remind me of there so and I kept walking past this charm like maybe I'll get it maybe so I did and it came in the cutest little box I know it's so silly to be that I'm easily amused but look how cute that box is look how small and like baby that is compared to my hand just so cute so cute the next thing is what I'm wearing this vest, top, see-through thing, like if you see it's kind of the, my hands can be, I'm wearing it with a skirt today, <laughs> um, I absolutely love it, I, it's from Villa and it was 16 euros I think, 16 or 17 euros and um, I remember I was in there with my friend Stephanie, we were out shopping again because we were just shopping all the time and then I saw this green one she was like you're trying it on, you have to and I, um, I was like can I have a medium, she was like no Try on a small, Vicky. You're small, cause I, I I can quite harsh on myself a lot. And she's like, you're trying it on, and I fit a small. So not only is it gorgeous and I love it on, I fit a small. <laughs> so I was like, yay! I have to buy this. So I, I think bought I bought, it, which I is really also Stephanie pushing me, and not because I don't like buy like I don't like what I bought. It's just because I'm so hard on myself. I feel like I don't deserve things, and she was just like, you do, Vicky. So I really like that she forces me to do these things. This is a beautiful skirt from Vera. I, it's really hard to show, but it kind of it has a black waistband and then it comes up, and it kind of it finishes at the. I think you can see the sparkles. I'm not sure, but um, it's got sparkles underneath the other layer. It's very sheer. You can see my pants through it, so I need to wear the right pants and the right, just the right stuff. I think I might even even need to get a skirt underneath it, but. This is 25 euros and it's gorgeous. It's so flowy and it finishes just above the knee and it's perfect. And it was a small, so I was like, yay. Yeah. Because um, I'm obsessed with like, like I think that people are beautiful with like whatever size they are, but I just feel like I'm not beautiful. You know what I mean? Everyone's harsh on, harsh on themselves than they are with everybody else. Um, or at least I am, so my gorgeous skirt that I absolutely love from Vero Moda which I think you can Vero Vero Moda Vero Moda you know you probably know what I mean but I'm sure you can buy it next online one is I didn't buy this in Finland because it actually was more expensive in Finland but I did buy it on the journey back from Finland in Heathrow Airport and it is perfume that I have wanted forever as soon as I have this money spare which I never have money spare because I'm like student and I don't have that much money is Armani code. I was so wanting this for so long. Seriously, and like how gorgeous is the bottle? It's so gorgeous. Um, oh, don't be stuck. How gorgeous is that bottle? That is just amazing. I don't know why I'm whispering, but it's amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, it just, where's the wee? It just smells so womanly and sexy. Mm -hmm. I'm even gonna spray up me now. I just I love it so much. I haven't put any on today because I've been like lazier in the house. It's probably why I don't look too good with my makeup. Like 
half-assed but yeah so good love it it was 56 pounds I like I don't usually spend much on perfume at all I usually ask for it on birthdays but I just really wanted the smell for so long I just like I'm buying it and then the so. other two are both from Scotland they're not like Scottish things I just mean I bought them in Scotland but I had to add them just because they were kind of at the end of this money worth of in this kind of shopping time <laughs> so I just had to add them and I really like them and one of them is kind of related to Finland and it is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and it's in the nude matte color it looks like this in the box yeah um well the story to this is that Stephanie I was talking to her and I was saying right what do I actually need that's makeup wise because I have so much makeup and stuff what do I need and um, then I said oh I need like a primer for my eyes because I literally every time I put eyeshadow on it creases every time and it will not it, it's not like after a few hours I mean like after 10 minutes and like creasy and like even my fiance is like I like your makeup and stuff and I like that you do makeup but it kind of just looks like it's rubs off quite easily and I'm like well it is true it does so she, but then she was like oh try my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I was so I, I had like a little bit on from her and I was like oh my god I had it on for like 12 hours and it hadn't even budged I was like 12 hours it hasn't even budged I was like right I'm getting this I am so glad she showed me and I got this nude one because it kind of makes your eyeshadows matte and I have so many shimmer the eyeshadows, I was just, and I don't really want that many, I was just like, right, I'll get them out on, because I spoke to the woman in Debenhams, so yeah, I got this, and it was £14, and I'm so glad, and it's so worth it, because if you love makeup, and you can't even have eyeshadow on, because when you do, it creases after 10 minutes, you know, it's pointless, so I am so glad I got this, and I recommend it so much if you have oily lips. The last thing is, I think it's the last thing, I feel like I'm going to forget something, last thing is the tangle teaser brush and it's slightly related to Finland for the fact that my I took my brush on holiday and I, it was just like to Finland and I, I just gave up on it because the amount of times I've tried to put water in, on it and stuff because it makes my hair staticky and it just it's so annoying and then my other brush my mum stole <laughs> since she nicked off me so this was like I just chucked it in the bin while I was in Berlin. I was like, I'll get a brush when I come home. And I got the Tangle Teaser because my hair is so damaged. I just really needed something that was gentle on my hair and nice to my hair. And it even came with a booklet. Like, about taking care of your hair. It's like a cute little written booklet. So, I really, really, really would recommend this. It is so nice and gentle. And it's painless to get big, huge knots out. And it's amazing. So, that is my finished haul. I hope I haven't nattered on too much. And thank you for listening. And I hope you like my stuff. So I'll be speaking to you later and hopefully have a different outfit on. <laughs> Bye.